Hey, what's up there, my mathletes? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Desmos to check that the piecewise function you came up with matches the absolute value that it was created from. So, of course, first, we're going to open up Desmos. So go ahead and sign in using your uh, login credentials for Desmos. And when you do that, what I want you to do is create this uh, title for the graph uh, abs value and pw check. All right, so that's going to be the name of our file here because we're going to save that. All right, so after you've logged in, go ahead and create that name for it and then save that. All right, cool. Deal. Now you're going to make a folder. And remember, if you forget how to add a folder, you're going to do, you know, the plus sign and go down to folder and you're going to call that folder notes ex1. And then you're going to hit enter and you're going to type in our first example here, f of x equals the absolute value of x plus one and then plus two. Now from here, underneath this, once you have that in, what I want you to do is go ahead and hit enter. And in this space, what we're gonna do is type in g of x. So this is gonna be that left-hand side, that left piece that we came up with. And for there, the line that we came up with was negative x plus one and that is now, so see, notice the green line here. It's green on the screen. Uh, so notice the green line that's there. And that's what the entire line, but I don't want the whole thing. I don't want part of it. So in order to get the domain restriction, because remember we came up, you know, our H value in our original problem was negative one. So in order to incorporate that, to restrict the domain of that entire line, negative x plus one, we have to use the brace. So the brace is gonna look like that. And then we're gonna type x is, now you can use a couple different keystrokes. You can either go right down here and use the keystroke there. Um, that's right here. So that's one option for you. You can do that. Or you can actually hit the uh, less than key and then the equal key on your keyboard. Either one of those will get you to open that spot. So we're gonna add that less than equal to uh, negative one. And notice now on our graph, and we'll of course close that brace, notice now on the graph, the green line is just going to be the green line, that's that left-hand side of our absolute value function. Now let me go ahead and just kind of change this a little bit. There, you can see it a little bit better. Now below that, so once we hit that, uh, so again, we're in that same line of G of X. You're gonna hit enter. So notice everything's in that folder for notes EX1. Now we're gonna type in H of X, and then that's gonna be equal to the other piece that I came up with. And remember our slopes are opposite. So if I had negative X for the first equation, we came up with X for the second one, and then our Y intercept was plus three. All right, so notice the purple line here. So our purple line, we see the entire line, but again, I only want the piece that would lay over on top of it uh, that would restrict my domain. So this part right here, we're gonna go ahead and add our little brace. So we add our brace and then X is greater than and then one, or I'm sorry, negative one. So that's it and we close off our brace and then we'll cl close off the brace. And a lot of times if you just hit enter, it'll kind of do that automatically for you. So notice that's how our example is written right there. Notice that's how our example is written right there. Now, a couple other things I wanna add to this. Uh, remember, the line that our vertex, you know, our axis of symmetry is going to be the dividing space where our graph will be symmetrical. So, you know, the left-hand side of our absolute value and the right-hand side do have that symmetry. So points that are on the left are mirrored by points that are on the right, uh, each side of that axis of symmetry. And if you wanted to put in the axis of symmetry, that, you know, I'm gonna give you a little bonus tip right here, because this is gonna be something we'll do later. Uh, so go ahead and hit enter. And what I want you to do is type in X equals, so this is gonna be X equals, and then the axis of symmetry, again, we're gonna use that H value, which in this case was negative one. So X equals negative one. And then here's what we do to change this to a dashed line. So you're gonna go over here uh, and press and hold on that. And then your style, you're gonna go ahead and choose the middle one. And notice that'll make it a dashed line. It's kind of thick and hard to see. So sometimes you might wanna to go to just that version. Uh, but if you're not in projector mode, so right now, you know, I'm in projector mode. So if we were to uh, change that to regular, it will just, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So that's your bonus tip. 
So that's all I need you to do. Oh, and then don't forget, of course, save it when you're all done. Save early and often, so that way, as you go through, you'll be all set and good to go. Now notice if you pull that up, boom, everything slides up under notes example one, because you'll have to do other ones to check for that later on. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace out.